Hi there, in this video we're going to be talking about R squared and the adjustment which we make to R squared, which funnily enough we call adjusted R squared, and we write it as sort of R bar squared. So first of all, defining what is R bar squared, we can write it R bar squared is equal to 1 minus 1 minus R squared times n minus 1 all over n minus k minus 1 where here n represents the number of points in our data, so the number of, sort of points in our data sample, and k represents the number of independent regressors, not including the constant, which in fact is sort of represented by this one number here. So, okay, this looks a little bit complicated, looks a bit of a mess, but what does that actually mean? Well, let's think about it in terms of k. So k is the sort of number of variables which we have in our model, and we know that the uh, number of variables which we have in our model has got to be less than or equal to the number of data points because if it was equal to the number of data points essentially we would be explaining 100% of our variation in a dependent variable just because we had an equal number of regressors as we did data points. So in general it's going to be actually sort of less than or equal to n the number of data points. So let's think about what happens if k increases. So if I increase k, and remember that k is less than n, then n minus k minus 1, the sort of denominator here, is going to fall. Yeah, so I'm taking away a bigger number from n, so this number is getting closer and closer to 0. So if I'm dividing through by a smaller, a smaller and smaller number, then this sort of second term here, this sort of parenthesized term here, is going to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger which, when I take it away from 1, means that r bar squared is going to fall. And notice that in this sort of derivation here, um, I've assumed that r squared isn't varying as I sort of add um, more regressors. So what's actually going on here? Well, it says that if I add more independent variables, essentially I k increases, if there is not a significant increase in R squared, so a significant increase in the ability of my model to explain my dependent variable, then R bar squared will actually fall. So R bar squared actually reflects the fact that if I add um, complete rubbish to my regression, some extra variables which aren't actually explaining much of the variation in my dependent variable at all, so on the basis of R bar squared, then I would choose the first model over the second model. So let's think about an example. So let's say I had a uh, relationship which I was trying to explain, which is that wages in terms of the number of years of education. So I had a sort of first off model, which was wages being explained solely by education and some sort of constant. And then I sort of said, well, OK, I want to try and explain a little bit more of my variation in wages. So I'm going to not just include education in my regression. I'm also going to include a measure of right-handedness of individuals okay seems a bit of a strange thing to do but let's let's just think about it for a second so perhaps in stata or r we might find that 55 percent of my variation in wages is being explained by education uh, in my sort of first model whereas in the second model then perhaps i have 56 percent of my variation in wages is being explained by both education and right-handedness so on the basis of r squared we'd actually choose the second model. Um, but I hope you can see that this sort of next, this sort of last term which we've added on here, right handedness, probably doesn't have anything to do with wages. So R squared perhaps isn't the best way to choose between these two models. So enter R bar squared or adjusted R squared. So perhaps R bar squared in my first model might be something like 0 0.5. But when I add the extra variable, opposed to R squared, R bar squared may actually fall, or will probably fall. So it will probably fall to 0.4 or something, something like that. So, and this is reflecting the fact that even though I've increased my number of regressors, I've increased k, r squared hasn't increased significantly, or the ability of my independent regressors to explain my dependent variable hasn't increased significantly. So my r bar squared, my adjusted r squared, will actually fall. It will reflect that. So on the basis of our, our bar square, we will actually choose this first model rather than the second model. So I hope you can see that our bar squared, although it's not perfect, is sort of a step in the right direction for um, selecting between different models. It's certainly better than our squared. 